Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So in today's video, we are going to see how to create the thread in Java. Okay, so here I just created one class, uh, name is demo. Okay, and inside this demo class, I have just created one main method. Okay, now let's understand how to create the thread in Java. Okay, so inside the Java, actually we have two ways to create the thread. How many ways we have? We have two ways to create the thread. Okay, now what are those two ways? Very first way is by extending, by extending the thread class. Okay, so we have a thread class in Java and by extending that class, we can create the thread. Okay, we will see how to do that. But first let's understand how many ways we have. So very first way is by extending the thread class. Okay, and the another way is by implementing by implementing the runnable interface. Okay, so we have two ways to create the thread in Java. First way is by extending the thread class. And the second way is by implementing the runnable interface. Okay, now let me just go ahead with the first way. Okay, after that we will see how to create the thread by implementing the runnable interface. Okay. So, very first let's create here one class, class and you can give any name. So, let's give here the name as my thread example. Okay. And here we can just extend this class with the thread. Okay. So, this thread is already present in the java.lang package. If we just do here command click, you will go to this class. See here, this thread class is implementing the runnable interface and if you just go above you will see that this is present inside the java.lang package okay now very first thing you have to create the class and you can extend it with the thread class okay after that inside the thread class you have one method run method okay now you need to override that run method okay so let's override it so let me override here run method okay now whatever logic you want to execute by your child thread okay or by using your this thread that logic you need to write inside the run method okay so let's suppose here i just want to print the numbers from 1 to 5 okay so let's write here for loop we will start that with the 1 less than equals to 5 and i plus plus Okay, and here I just want to print child thread and here we will print the value of the i. Okay, so what is the task here? So see whatever you have written inside the run method that will be executed by your child thread. Okay, so now you have created your thread. You have created one class. You have extended it with the thread class. Okay, now what you have to do here first you need to create the object of this class my thread example and let's give the name as a thread is equal to new my thread example okay after that whenever whenever you want to start the thread see here at this moment at line number eight you just created the thread Okay, as soon as you write this line, then your thread will be in born or new state. Okay, now you want to start it. How to start the thread? To start the thread, we have one method, which is start. As soon as you call this start method, then call will go to the run method present inside your my thread example class. And why it will come here? Because if you see this thread is of type my thread example right and this my thread example class is extending the thread class now whatever logic you have written in this run method that logic will get executed by your thread okay so now let's 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 just do one more thing here i just want to print the numbers from 1 to 5 by main thread as well okay so here let's write int i is equal to 1 
i is less than equals to 5 and i plus plus and here i just want to print main thread and here value of i okay so if you see what we did we just created one class we have extends with the thread class and inside this class we have just overridden the run method okay and in our main class okay we have created the object of the my thread example class and by using this object we are calling the start method now whenever you call the start method automatically call will go to this run method okay so now this block of code will be executed by the child thread and this block of code will be executed by the main thread okay so now if i save this right click and execute see the output here okay so see here you are getting first child child thread 1 2 3 4 5 and after that main thread okay now let's execute the program one more time see here now what happened you are getting first child thread for two times after that main thread after that child thread and then main thread okay so in the multi threading we can't predict the output okay so every time we may get the different output okay now see here first way we have we have seen how to create the thread first way was by extending the thread class okay now there is another way which is by implementing the runnable interface Okay, so we will see that in the next video. Thank you.